welcome back my dear students this is mahu sudhana ki senior lecture of magistral college department of biology today i will discuss chapter 11 the name of this chapter is reproduction in organisms my learning objectives are microspogenesis megaspogenesis fertilization double fertilization and triple fusion now microspogenesis what is microspogenesis the process through which male gametes are produced in plants is known as microspogenesis now here is the process through which the male gametes are produced in plants so this is the different stages of microspogenesis you can see that this is the pollen this pollen is produced inside the pollen sac inside the pollen sac the pollen mother cell divides through meiosis cell division and produces this haploid pollen inside this haploid pollen there is a haploid nucleus these haploid nucleus get divided by mitosis cell division and produce two unequal nucleus one is smaller in size which is known as zygote nucleus another one is large in size that is known as tube nucleus these tube nucleus then turns into pollen tube and the generative tube pollen tube and the generative nucleus uh, follows the tube nucleus when the pollen tube is developed two male gametes are produced from this pollen uh, generative nucleus by mitosis cell division thus the microspogenesis complete is completed now the description a pollen is the first cell of gametophyte pollen mother cells produces that pollen mother cell is diploid that produces four haploid pollen cells by meiosis cell division soon after becoming mature harboring in the pollen sac pollen starts to germinate harboring this starts means it takes few days to become mature to stay for a short period okay so when the pollen become mature it stays in the pollen sac for a short period then it starts to germinate you can see that the pollen has two layers the outer layer is known as exine and the inner layer is known as intime then what happens the nucleus of the uh, the nucleus of the pollen that is uh, inside this pollen it get divided through mitosis cell division mitotic cell division and two cells one is large this one and another one is small are formed the next step is the large one is called tube cell and the smaller one is called generative cell that means this is the tube cell and this is the generative cell the tube cell turns into pollen tube and two male gametes are produced from the generative cell you can see here that the two male gametes are produced from the generative cell this is produced by mitosis cell division division of generative cell takes place in the pollen or pollen tube it means this division it can occur in the pollen or in the pollen tube thus the uh, the two thus two male gametes are produced through uh, microsporogenesis process now megasporogenesis what is megasporogenesis the process through which female gametes are produced in the plant is known as megasporogenesis this is the step of development of female gametophyte or female gametes okay at first from this diagram i want to make it clear what is nucellus cell this is the ovary of a flower this is the style and this is the stigma inside this ovary there are different cells or many many cells parenchyma cells this cells is known as nucellus cell this is the nucellus cell so this group of cells are known, known as nucellus tissue near the micropyle now what is micropyle if one of these uh, act as an embryo sac pollen tube comes through this channel and the pollen tube that enters through a passes the portion or the part through which the pollen tube enters that is called micropyle region near the micropyle of the nucellus tissue uh, being a cell actually a cell being mature and after that it starts to germinate so near the micropyle of the nucellus tissue being nourished 
in the new cells of an ovule, a cell starts to become larger. Actually, that larger cell acts as a um, uh, uh, megaspore mother cell. The, this cell, the cell which become larger, that cell divides into four haploid cells through mutic cell division. So if this is the megaspore mother cell, it is diploid. When it goes or undergoes meiosis cell division, it produces four haploid cells. This is four megaspore which are haploid. Every cell except the smallest one gets disintegrated. Among these four cells, actually the lowermost cell actually it remain alive and rest of three cells become disintegrated. Okay. Growing gradually, the larger cell matures into an embryo sac. Actually, the lowermost cell which is larger in size, this cell it become it it matures and it this cell turns into embryo sac. The nucleus of the cell divides and creates two nuclei. The nucleus of this cell it divides by mitosis cell division and produce two, two nuclei which goes to two opposite pole. This nucleus when divides into two cell uh, nucleus by it divides by mitosis cell division. So these two nuclei take position in two opposing poles. It means these two take position into opposite poles. Next, these two nuclei consecutively sorry consecutively divides twice and results in four nuclei that means it these two divides twice when they divide they first they divide into one cell turns into two that means these two turns into four cell again when these two divides it produces four cell that means from this cell by two consecutive cell division each of them produce four cells in each pole. In the next stage, one nucleus from each pole come to the medium of the cell and get fused and produce two secondary nuclei. What does it mean? It means from each pole, in each pole there are four nuclei, from each pole one nucleus come, comes at the middle and they get fused when they get fused, they produce secondary nucleus. The nucleus in the pole turns into cell with some amount of cytoplasm. There are three cells that remain in each pole, of, uh, in each pole which this uh, nucleus along with some cytoplasm that turns into cells. Collectively, the combined structure of the three cells near the micropyle as I have told you that the part or the region through which the pollen tube enters into the pollen sac that is called uh, sorry embryo that enters into the embryo sac that is called the micropyle. So near the micropyle the three cells collectively called egg apparatus. These are the three cells. Okay. In between the cells, that means in between these three cells, the one occupying the middle place, that means this one, place in the ovum, the which is little larger, is called egg, and the other two cells are called synergy cell. In these, these three are combined known as egg apparatus, which lies in the middle, that is a little larger in size, this is known as egg, and the other two is known as synergy cell. The cell in the opposite poles of the egg to the egg apparatus are called antipodal cell. That means if this is the egg apparatus, then the opposite cell, three cells uh, of the egg apparatus is, are known as antipodal cells. So this is how the process of development of embryo sac and thus the female gametophytes are produced. Now, my today's last topic is fertilization, double fertilization and triple fusion. You can see that this is the diagram of a female reproductive part. That is the ovary style stigma. It indicates the pollen grain. This is the pollen tube through which enters into the embryo sac. These two indicates two male gamers. The black color 
it indicates two main gamete. This blue color indicates three cells indicate the egg apparatus and these two green color indicates secondary nuclei. Now first of all what is fertilization? The process through which the male gamete fused with a female gamete is called and produces a zygote. Male gamete is haploid, female gamete is also haploid but the zygote that is, the zygote that is produced is diploid. So you can define the uh, fertilization, the process through which a male gamete fused with a female gamete to produce zygote is called fertilization. Now what is double fertilization? You can see here two secondary nuclei are present and here is the egg. These two male gametes when the pollen tube enters into the embryo sac, this position or this place at the joining part or uh, the part uh, through which the pollen tube enters into the embryo sac, it get fused and produce a channel through which these two male gametes enters into the embryo sac. One get fused with the egg and another male gamete fused with the secondary nuclei. At the same time it occurs. That is why this type of fertilization is known as double fertilization. So what is double fertilization? The process through which one male gamete fused with the egg and at the same time another male gamete fused with the secondary nuclei is called double fertilization. Now what is triple fusion? Triple fusion means the fusion of a male gamete with two secondary nuclei is called triple fusion. So, from my today's topic, you will be able to explain megasporogenesis and the stages of megasporogenesis, microsporogenesis, the stages of development of uh, male gametes or male gametophyte, and finally you will be able to explain fertilization, double fertilization, triple fusion. You can write down the, write the definition. Now, I just want to uh, 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 explain two differences or I want to explain this, the difference between what the difference between fertilization and double fertilization. You can, I hope you can write the difference. How? Fertilization is the process through which male and female gamete fused and in case of double fertilization, the process through which one male gamete fused with the egg and another male gamete fused with the secondary nuclei. In case of fertilization, only one male gamete participates or take part. In case of double fertilization, it requires two male gametes. These are the two main uh, differences. Another difference is no triple fusion occurs in fertilization, but in case of double fertilization, triple fusion occurs. So if, I, I hope you can write down the differences between fertilization and double fertilization. In my next class, I will be back with a new lesson. Till then, take care.